Senator Faris Al Rawi. Good evening, Senator. Good evening to you and to Trinidad and Tobago. Quick question, how do you respond to the Attorney General's claim that the PNM and the other groups are misleading the President by making such requests? Well, my response is in very short that the Attorney General is misleading the public because the pronouncement that he's made as to the presidential role being merely ceremonial is an anachronistic approach to the law in Trinidad and Tobago. In fact, it's a reference back to pronouncements by the Privy Council in 1962 or so. We do not have a strict Westminster system where the rule would be ceremonial. And it is certainly not the case that the President does not have the power to call the type of inquiry through the consultation mechanism that Section 81 of the Constitution represents. The President certainly has authority to look into aspects of the representations made to him by the Cabinet of Trinidad and Tobago in causing him to proclaim Section 34. And let me draw a very quick analogy to you. We are engaged in an exercise of scrutiny through a commission of inquiry at present where the acts of the acting president in giving an amnesty to the Jamaat al muslimin are under investigation right now. So if that uh, argument offered by the Attorney General is to hold water, then he must apply a distinction and answer the question, how is it that there is a new ability to have a commission of inquiry into the acts of a president in granting a, an amnesty under the 1990 attempted coup attempt? It just does not stand up to scrutiny. Thank you very much, Senator. Senator Faris Al-Rawi giving us his take on this issue. To